We were just almost ready to go to Valpo today. That is Valparaiso. I got my boots on. Boys are ready to get on the bus, but as it turns out, they uh, have to take care of something in Santiago first to get their bike out of the port in Valparaiso. That's uh, what we're up to here. Don't know exactly what it is, but it seems essential to get things going with customs once you're at the port over there. So glad uh, we know that now instead of once we're in uh, Valpo. So it's a uh, mission mode right now. Press the button. It's amazing. Where are we going? So it's a pre-dial elevator here. So we're going to elevator A. How do you feel, boys? Enlightened. Very good. Yeah. Everything is all good and there's going to be bikes in Valparaiso. It's the difference between a bike on an airplane, it can be pretty clear cut, but on a boat there's this limbo zone, you know, there's a boat in port and then all of a sudden you're just waiting and waiting and waiting, but all is good. And now back to the hostel, we're going to get ready to go to Valparaiso. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in Valpo. Uh, this, uh, this is the last time we'll be traveling like peasants. See you soon. Ah, this is the most pesado, chica. Hasta luego, chicas de Plaza de Armas. Chao, Pedro. Chao. Cortate bien. No molestes a las próximas recepcionistas. No las despeines. Lupita. Lupi. Me gustó mucho. Pedro. ¿Qué pasa? Mi amor. Muy pesado. Buenos días. ¿Qué tal? Help, you ready? Now I'm gonna chuck everything on here. I need to pass by the airport to talk to customs. And these guys are all very exciting for what's going on. Hola. One, two, three. Action. <laughs> La moto está bien. Yeah. Right, Elb is ready. I'm ready. You know what? It's always something special on a motorbike. How happy people are to see a traveling man. And it's so much different than when you're traveling alone with a backpack or something. Gentlemen, English. Yes. How are you? Hola, español. <laughs> uh, oh, how are you doing? No, no okay. English. Yeah. Where are you from? Holland. Uh, Holanda. 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 Lejo. See, si. what? I am Lejo. Yeah. I am Lejo. Buena moto. Buena moto. Si. Buena moto. Valparaiso. Uh, oh, yeah. Valparaiso. Si. Ruta 18. 
Ja, 68. Ja, ja, ja. 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 Ja, Yes, and I don't speak English, just so you know. I love the motorbike. I missed it. It's 10 to 5, I was hoping the uh, customs would be open until 5, but they close at 4, so I'm an hour too late. And while I'm on the road, I smell fuel, so I'm tightening the clamp here around the hose. This clamp sucks, I need to get a proper hose clamp again. That works, but I tighten it a bit more. There you go, I hope that's it. But I got a new fuel tap coming too, so if that is the problem, as uh, some of you have seen in help great again episodes uh, so I'm just going to take the regular road to Valpo it all took a lot longer get used to that getting out of a city especially when you got to do things so that should be an hour ride what's your name William hi William Pedro nice to meet you nice to meet you mate Did you, where'd you come from you're not from the Netherlands I am from the Netherlands <laughs> yeah I am from the Netherlands I brought it in from New Zealand yeah there's a bit of Africa twin on there too can you guess <laughs> yeah. so you how long were you in New Zealand a year yeah, I started in my house in California. I rode through Central America to the bottom of South America. From there, I went to Germany and I rode the Silk Road through Turkey, but up over the Caspian Sea, did all the stands, yeah. Mongolia, and then I went to Korea. Then I went back to London. Yeah. And from London, I went down through Europe and did North Africa, and then Italy through Turkey, and then spent a month in Iran. It's like you can't resist filling up that visa that month in Iran. You have to, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I exactly. took every day of it. Yeah. And then uh, from there, I shipped to Ethiopia, and Ethiopia all the way down to oh, Cape Town. You've done the Africa connection too. Eh? So I went to a different section of customs. Ah, yeah. Sí, spoke to those guys. Hey, ¿qué tal, hombre? ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Bien. Estoy de vuelta. ¿Cómo? Oh, hablar con este este hombre aquí. Con ese todo. Ah, la buena. Todo. ¿Qué tal, bien? Chao, hombre. Este es mi hijo Amaru. Pedro, gran amigo ahí de Holanda. David de Chile. Chao, hombre. Hasta luego. Chao, mucho gusto. And another man heads out onto the road. And what was I doing here at Customs? I spoke to the guys because I wanted to know what's the best way to get stuff here. And they say, send it for cargo. We'll get it here. And it's the easiest uh, way to handle it. It's considered uh, part of the bike. So that's the plan. I'm going to let Hugo in Portugal know about this so we can figure out the best method of cargo to send it here to Santiago. Anyway, we got about an hour and a half left of sunlight. I gotta do some finding a place in uh, Valparaiso. You don't wanna be there too late at night. The place is a bit sketchy apparently at night, so. You getting a ticket?
Barros Borgonha. Is it Barros? Okay, gracias. I don't know what the hell's going on with the bike. I had a bit of trouble starting. I never have this. All right, muchas gracias. I'm pretty happy to see you guys. Now this is sweet. Close it off. Well, Mark, this is it. This is the house. That's amazing. This is great. Oh, something's wrong with the bike. It's not good. It's not working well on the hills. Too much fuel. Everything's not good in regards to fuel. So that's something we gotta work on. And anyway, Valparaiso. Ah. So this is our first Airbnb experience here. Well, at least mine. We got the whole house for ourselves. This is sweet and it's locked off. So the bikes are gonna be safe. And the town, it's right on the water. It's got that poor town feel. Bit of a rugged feel to it. Reminds me of Trabzon in Turkey. But we're here. <laughs> Life is good. Okay, I'm gonna unpack Alp. I'm excited again. So let me know what you think in the comments of, once again, our change of scenery. Like and subscribe. Let's get as many people uh, along on this ride. It's great to be on the road again. Did I say that already? Well, it really is. See ya.